Now, in the last round, if you look at the scores, you can see that Clive Dunning is doing extraordinarily well. Having pulled back a minus 45 handicap, he scored 100 points. But he'd been 100 points for the last 30 questions. The reason was he was asking them. This was the last set which is going to be after uh, Martin uh, Pampel. We're much quicker doing marathons than he did getting to quizzes. But uh, if uh, the situation is, we can see that Michael's just four points behind Clive. And I think that's quite a credible target. Two, two questions is anybody's game at the moment. Good luck, Clive. Good luck, Michael. Good luck, everybody else. I hope you get what you're looking for. Yeah, good luck, yeah? What is the actual first name of Grand National winning jockey Ruby Walsh? <coughs> Preston. It's Rupert. Correct. Right. Preston to in six. Oh, dear. Keep your eyes on that. My name's Steph. In Shakespeare's a fellow, what is the name of the fellows with Kenneth? <laughs> Mike. Michael Cassio. Correct. He also did Jill Washington. Do you want the rest of the question? If you like. Your call. Dan. Question three. Born in 1903, which author wrote a clergyman's daughter? Coming up to her. Clive. George Orwell. Correct. Question four. Under UK law, how many points are masked during the three-year period for the result? Sam? Twelve. Correct. For the result in the driving ban? I should know that, shouldn't I? I've been to loads of speed events, so I don't know. What Gilbert and Sullivan operetta features the characters of Sir Richard Shumley and Colonel Fairfax? <coughs> and is... President Barrett's <laughs> Pendant. No. Oh. Lake up. HMS Pinfall? No. <laughs> Smart Sam? Young and Adele? Correct. Yeah. 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 Honor Blackman was then the oldest actress to play ah. from Michael ah. Bellucci. Correct. Could you just shout out to the people watching? Can... Monica Bellucci. Thank you. How is the Central Criminal Court of England and Wales? Ah. Oh, is that? Correct. This band had at least one hit every year between 1970 and 1984, and their hits include Emma, No Doubt About It, Hot Chocolate, Let. Which famous address has been home to Nelson, Peter, Wilberforce, Humphrey, Sybil, <laughs> Sam, Tandana Street, Correct. Okay. Cats. Uh, no. Which plant from the Ibis family has a name that is derived from the Latin for sword? Ah. Okay, bloody hell, I didn't see that one coming. Fuck. Oh, <sighs> Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Question 11. In which decade of the 19th century were the Metropolitan Police formed and the formation of George Bull? I'm going to go for 1930s. No, no. Oh, of damn! What did you say? Formation of what? The Metropolitan, the, 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 the Metropolitan Police formed in the coronation of George IV. Um, right, uh, 1840s. No. Alright, we've got our man's book of the kids. 1830s. No, no. Preston. Is it 1930s? Okay. Uh, when? When? Uh, when? Uh, when? Martin? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. carried on the question, just... Martin, when somebody buzzed in, you carried on talking about George. Right. Some people uh, don't know what's in. Minus one. No, 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 he, he said that and I just didn't catch it, so I just asked for Right, it's Rose, 1830s, not 1830s. Michael? 1820s. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Nice one, Michael. Oh, that's what I thought I did now. Go on. One of the top 20 highest grossing Australian films of all time, which film centres on a socially awkward woman who is obsessed with the music? Mum, Sam? You're as funny. That. You're as funny. Oh, yeah, Comprising two separate areas, Ecrotiri and Dekelia, is a British overseas territory on... Cyprus. Cyprus. Correct. What is, the, what is the name of the first person to have won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction twice? In 1919 with the Magnificent Ambersons and again in 19... 
knife goes turned into flesh. Did those cards go on there? 59 go on there? No, no. he needs he needs them because he puts him six in front. Yeah. Which song reaching the top ten in 1976 contains the lyric? I can easily understand how you could easily take my man, but you don't know what he means to me. Yes. Jolly. Correct. Great answer. Which American actor, producer, model and former rapper was known as Marky Mark in his earlier years? Michael Wahlberg. Correct. There are two Wahlbergs. Mark Yeah. Mark kind of gives it away to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah, yeah. pedantic, you know, mate. <laughs> Michael, great two points. Bit of a bitch like that, but mm. still good. He's poem, The Tiger, begins. <laughs> Mike? Uh, Wordsworth? No. Oh. Sam? Mike? Yes. So one <laughs> time, yeah. I thought it was a trick. I can't believe it. Mike loses a point, yeah. Sam gets two. Oh, my name is best, yeah. Oh, if only Michael That's was Sam, eh? <laughs> Are you ready? Clive must like me. Yeah. Oh. Banned by the BBC in 1962 and reaching number one on the US Billboard's charts that same year, which novelty song by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Fit Pickers? It's a monster mash. Correct. Sorry, Michael, you were all over it, weren't you, really? I thought, I thought you'd have had that. The toll puddle martyrs were a group of agricultural labourers who were sentenced to penal transportation. But in which county did they do? Rhodes. Dorset. Oh, off the press early, but oh, Dorset. Oh, God. Born Leslie Lynch King Jr. in 1985. Uh, Clive. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, Clive. I'm going to give him to Sam there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice <laughs> the female character of Garla Brand appears in which James Bond? Uh, Laycock. Garla Brand is Casino Royale. No. Oh, appears in which James Bond novel written by Ian Fleming and published in 1955? She did not appear in the movie, with much of the novel's plot completely changed for the film. Ah! Um, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. No. no that was Sam. faithful to the book. You only lived twice? No. No. Mike? Uh, from Russia with Love? No. No. Elliot? Doctor No? No. <laughs> Doctor No? No. You know it now. Uh, Michael? Moonraker? No. Right. Oh, oh yeah, it was. So Michael, no, 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 What number of question are we on, please? What number of question is this? Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, Michael, you fall adrift still. Maintain no, same team number of point difference as it was at the start. Yeah. Still look still there. Carrying on. What hearing condition symptoms include a ringing in the ears? Tinnitus. Oh. Tinnitus. How are you going to get that? Ha, Sam. It's not you. It's not you. It's so constant. Which song, released in late 1983, was written by Rod Templeton, produced by Quincy Jones, contains a spoken word vocal by Vincent Price? Oh. Oh. Mike Thriller. What's that? Thriller. Correct. And that's good, a 14 good, minute video for the class of a movie. This is a good video. He's so. Oh, he's there. a good lad. Well, Templeton's a bloody genius, right? So, that's the music. Next. In which film, on walking out of his relationship, does the male lead speak the words, frankly, my dear, I don't know. <laughs> Laycock! Gone with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ali. In which year did the Valentine's Day massacre. Michael. <laughs> 1926. No. Oh! <laughs> uh, it wasn't finished neither, so I'm afraid. Right, we've got Kid. Oh, 1927. No. no. 1929. Oh, 29. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were so sweet. How many to go? Um. 
Check out that Five. fingernail Five fight. to go. Come on. Do you make the songs heartbreaker chain the action in the 90s? They do, basically. They give us yes. those. Oh, yeah. Let's go Yeah, but... Uh, well, well, right. stuff, yeah, you're right. Go on. Which American soul and R&B singer had a lovely day in 1978? Bill Withers. Yeah. Oh, get in. oh, fuck off, you visible guess over there. Twelve fortune. What is the name of a fictional and fuck them all fit teddy bear for your But, but, <coughs> Mike. Yeah, we need to pick. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I kind of ran out of ideas from last week. Um, what word means yes in French? Ha! Rip! And finally, in Shakespeare's play, in the Night like Stream, what is the name of the wee boo's head is turned into that? Boston. Yes. Oh, I got it on the last one, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get on the last one? Did you have hold anybody on the last I'll one? Show you my bottom there. Uh, thank you! What would be while uh, uh, while our man is still here at Mike, if we don't mind just staying for the prize giving, that will be absolutely terrific. Uh, first off, uh, we're going to give a, 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 a prize to the... The lowest scorer, me. <laughs> the uh, gross winner uh, gets the October medal. And the gross winner was, with 108, Clyde. Good <laughs> Incredibly, I was kind of working out who was going to get the money and who wasn't, but in reverse order, just check me if I'm wrong here, because I'm doing this on the fly, with 50 points, I believe Sam Roberts, oh, sorry, no, we're looking at the growth scores, uh, oh, ne yeah, the, the, next the next scores, uh, we're going, it's yeah, in third place, it's 50 points for Sam Roberts, you get the yeah. tenth, well done. Can you present the price of Sam Roberts of ten pounds, uh, Mike? There you go. There you are, sir. Uh, in second place, made a decent fist of it. Uh, again, the other side of Steve Lee's is Michael McPartland with a magnificent ticket on the big handicap as well. A uh, magnificent performance, thirty pounds, both trophies, huge handicap. We all look forward to watching 50 to next Friday, Mr. Clive Gullin! Woohoo! Uh, let me give that to you, Clive, and uh, I still don't just take the photographs of this one.